All right, how is it going? We are going to be playing Knights of the Round for Super Nintendo. And uh, I got a new webcam I wanted to mention, so let me know if it looks any better. This is a Logitech Brio 4K webcam, and uh, it was actually given to me by Logitech, so thank them for that. And how you doing, uh, perf Pixel Perfect Polygons? Piano, piano, Richard. All right, so people are coming on in. How you doing, John Buffington? Just getting things started here. We're doing Lancelot. Hey, 8-Bit Eric. Shish Nikon says the webcam is a little brighter, so that's cool. Okay, well, that's good. Glad to know that. Hey, Artificial Dreamer. So I am playing on, uh, this is a Super Nintendo. This is a, I've been playing a lot of these uh, fantasy kind of games lately. I did um, Dungeons and Dragons, Tower of Doom um, a few days ago, the arcade game. Now this is a game, I think I had this on my, my top 10 uh, for Super Nintendo games, uh, top 10 obscure games, although now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think this is, <laughs> I don't think this is that obscure of a game, but, um, you know, when I made that list, it was more like just trying to highlight games that weren't as popular as, you know, your, your Mario's and Zelda's and stuff like that, but, uh, there are definitely lesser known games than Knights of the Round. Ooh, and we're having a salad. What are we, oh, oh gold too. Classic game, one of my favorite beat-em-ups says Alex. And there's a time limit. So I guess I can't take too long. Uh-oh, Scorn. Legend was a similar game, not as good though. Oh, is there just a game called Legend? Is that what you mean? Get the salad. <laughs> Not quite as good as get the knife, right? B-17 Bomber. My favorite Capcom beat-em-up, maybe because of the sword. Lancelot receives Toss Salad, yes. Mike, remember the fourth will be with you, yes. I was thinking to play a Star Wars game, but this is the game I was more in the mood to play, so I decided to go for this instead. I know I should probably be playing a Star Wars game right now. But you know what? Everybody else is talking about Star Wars right now. This is for people that want something besides Star Wars today. How about that? This reminds you of Golden Axe. Yes, absolutely. So now I know there's Golden Axe and then there's Golden Axe um, 2, which is Revenge of Death Adder, I believe is the name of it, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't played those games in a while, but um, isn't is there not a third Golden Axe game? Because is there is there three? Because I'm tr I'm starting to remember that there was a third one, but maybe I'm going crazy. Anybody have information on the third Golden Axe game? Because I think that maybe a long time ago I played. If I'm not totally crazy, there was a third Golden Axe game, but I don't think I own it, and I haven't seen anybody talk about it in a long time. If it even is like a thing. Is that a thing, or is that not a thing, <laughs> basically? Yes, three. Three, I think, says Jimmy. People say, I think there was a three. <laughs> Nobody knows, right? Yes, there's a third Golden Axe game. Okay. Is there a title for the third Golden Axe? And what, what systems was it? Was it arcade only, or was it on Genesis, or... What's the deal with Golden Axe 3? Because I only am really am familiar with the first two, basically. And I think that um, I should I should get that. Golden Axe 3 is in the arcade, people are saying. Okay, 
So I should do uh, I should do Golden Axe three. I should hunt that down. We should have a Golden Axe three live stream. What do you guys think about that? Because that's one that I'm definitely not familiar with. So I'd like to do that. I should do all the Golden Axe games for one thing. But uh, but the third one, John Quist says part three was on Mega Drive, so it was on Genesis in Japan only. Some people are saying. So maybe that's why it was it not in was it not in North America. Maybe that's why I'm not familiar with it. Somebody answer that question. What did Golden Axe 3 for consoles come out in North America? That's what I want to know. In the US. Got to have a far back. We are Arthur. It was in North America. Okay. Some people, and another person says Japan only. So <laughs> now I'm getting mixed responses. I will have to look into it later then. Only on Sega Sonic Collection, okay. Mike, be sure to hit the large foods and treasure chests so the break into multiple pieces, you get more points and health. Oh, is this my buddy? What are you doing, my buddy? Here's Gaston. This guy's a wimp, huh? He's not even fighting back. I don't know, I might like uh, Arthur better. He's, he's making his return from Ghosts and Goblins. Kind of reminds me of him with the armor on from Ghosts and Goblins. There are three Golden Axe games on Genesis, but Revenge of Death Adder is nothing like any of them. It's a different game. Okay. Well, we will look into, uh, look at that. So, um, you know, somebody in the chat was saying, hit the food with, with the sword and it breaks into more food. I guess it's, and you get more, uh, more life or something than you would otherwise. Bradford! Can I get on the horse? Let's see. Can I get on the horse? Can I get on the horse? Oh. Bradford! Oh, fuck. Damn! Fuck you, Bradford. Get off the horse. Damn! Oh, man. This is rough. Feeling I'm not beating this game today. <laughs> this is one that I just popped in. I haven't played it in a long time, so. Damn. And I have this, uh... Motherfucker. I wonder if I had this set on hard or what. <laughs> Maybe I should have toned it down a little. <laughs> Who's this asshole? I just want Brad for dead. Oh, you motherfucker. I almost had him. Oh, it was tough. I don't know, I couldn't seem to get on the horse. I don't know why, it wasn't letting me on. Maybe I didn't hit the right button.
Hey Mike, good to see you playing old arcades. This one's a classic. There was one in most bars in Italy back in the day. So I'm playing this on uh, Super Nintendo actually though. But yeah, this is actually the console version. See, look at that, you can break the food up. That's cool. All I have to do is jump on the horse. Yeah, I tried to jump on it, it wasn't, I don't know. I only tried it once though, I should have tried it more. Alright, my men, we're breaking in. Let's have some tea. See that? Okay, that guy looked like one of my own dudes. So I didn't even know that was a. Oh, Birdman. You know what? I remember those, those guys actually from playing this years back. Let me see. There we go. Now I'm on the horse. Oh, fuck. So if you hit A, I was testing out the controls. If you hit A, you jump off. Great. So I didn't even get to really test that. That sucks that he runs away. Well, I'll know for next time not to hit A. I just don't do well with horses in games, do I, guys? Like, um, if I was able to name the horse, you know, you know what I would name him? Anybody in the chat know, know who I, what I would name the horse? I want to see if you guys know what I would name that horse. <laughs> Without even having to say anything. I don't want to give it away. <laughs> Springboard Slasher knows. Somebody said Mr. Ed. Honest Red says horse fuck. <laughs> so there were some people in the chat that watched my uh, that stream I did. When I got the horse in Breath of the Wild, and I named the horse Horse Fuck. I think I asked the chat um, what I should name the horse, and we, went, we all went for Horse Fuck. Oh, fuck. So, okay, so if you hit A, he does like a stronger attack, but it seems, um,. I want to make sure of this for, let's see, next time I come up to a guy, I'm going to try this. Yeah, so it takes away energy if I use, I hate that, honestly, with games when there's that stronger attack. It's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, what, uh, I guess, uh, Manhattan Project, I want to say, I think does that. I was never really a fan of that, when a move that you have hurts you. And that's the way this is. So I'm probably not going to use that move a whole hell of a lot. Unless, like, you know, it's like a... I, I know it's like a last-ditch effort kind of thing, but it's kind of like... Otherwise, you only seem to have this one move, and it's kind of like I would like to use that more. But I don't want to get myself killed, so it's like... Maybe I use it before, uh, before I get energy or something, I don't know. Buster S. Does that look like a Buster S? Not, not really. Many beat em ups did this, yes. Street Rage 3 had a separate special move meter that built up over time. Yeah, I like it better when, when they do it like that. They build up the meter over time and then you can use it again. I, th I want to say Double Dragon 4, 4, the new Double Dragon, was like that too. Um, I have not actu actually Edric, um, but I, I've been wanting to. And thank you for the donation. Come on, Birdman. Birdman! Food. 
Whoa, the food turned into like an orb? What the hell? Or I'm just losing it. <laughs> I thought I thought that was a salad at first. Was that a salad at first? Or, or am I just going crazy? That thing that, that was an orb? I thought it was a fucking salad and then turned into an orb. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and watch this and see. Or, was that thing just an orb when I came out of that? Or was it a salad and then it turned into an orb? How does a salad turn into an orb? I, I must be saying things. It was a salad. Okay, people are saying it was a salad. Okay, now I don't feel like I'm totally crazy. Why did the salad turn into an orb? <laughs> There's something that doesn't happen. The leprechaun ate it. You were too late. Leprechaun? <laughs> okay, I missed the leprechaun too. some salad yes okay that's all fuck oh the orb oh no and that was pro let me tell guess this is like food in here no it's not this game has tigers too so did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too give me the money gotta get the money Oh, level up. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Fuck you guys. I love video games. It's the best thing in life, says Rodimus Prime. Yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? It may actually be. <laughs> it's pretty good. Very generic names. the arcade version. I'm wondering how different the uh, arcade version is compared to the compared to this one. I believe I played the arcade in, in the actual arcade like a really long time ago, but I don't remember. Mike, is this in higher quality? Seems better. Uh, William Patrick, um, so, well, so, several things. Um, for one thing, I got a new webcam from Logitech. I got the Brio webcam, and um, they sent it to me, actually. Um, it's a 4K webcam, and thanks to them for sending it, and people are saying it, it is better, I guess. Uh, so, that, so that's cool. And then, it's, but if you're talking about the gameplay, so I'm playing this um, with, on my R, uh, RGB, like set up with frame meister and um basically it's i think I, I already explained this but if you haven't seen that video it's like super nintendo to uh scart um to frame meister and the rgb going to the tv so it's probably about as good as it's gonna get i don't know how i can <laughs> make a super nintendo game look much better than this um but if you're talking about me yeah i'm in higher quality i think <laughs> seems to be oh let's that's pretty funny you did you slice the turkey with your sword and oh, 
it gets cut up into like drumsticks. Motherfucker, stab me in the gut. William says, oh, yeah, it's great on bull. Thanks. And it should be 60 frames per second and everything, so. It's about, it's about as good as we're gonna get. And I should not have used that right there, but I, I'm a stupid. Now I'm out of guys, huh? Fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, I switched to Percival. I didn't mean to do that. Definitely did not mean to do that. And he's a weak ass. Oh man, I did not want to do that. I'm guessing the level up doesn't stay. Oh my gosh, this guy. Why did I switch to him? Fuck. Yeah, Percival is ass. <laughs> I needed to... Let me... When did they let me select who I'm gonna be? Arthur. Lancelot. Arthur. There we go. Yeah, I fucked that up. Alright. Oh, and they keep the energy down? I didn't know they did that. Well, that's forgiving. That's... Fuck. This is very arcade style, isn't it? Damn. This is tough. Imagine how many quarters you put in if this was an arcade. All right, there we go. Spanky PD says, I always play as Arthur. Real practical armor Percival has. Golden Axe was better. Chaos X says, what's the status on the new capture card? Okay, so people say, well, why don't you use game capture? Um, or why don't you use Elgato? I, uh, I've been using Elgato. The capture card that I've had for the last two years is an Elgato game capture. And uh, so I have two different PCs and they're, they're both, I've had s several people look into this who are like good. <laughs> And uh, basically, my PCs are overpowered, even for what I'm doing, so it's not a problem with my computer. Um, it's a problem with the, the capture card, long story short. And so the capture card gives out, it seems to be, after like an hour or so, a lot of times on live stream. I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be fine today, but sometimes it tends to give out. It's kind of, it's basically like random when it gives out. Um, and then I have two different um, Elgatos. I have the S, um, and then I have the one over there is the uh, HD60 Pro. And both of them, I have a problem with both of them. So that's not good. <laughs> and shit, this fucking guy. And basically, so um, I was told to order, uh, order a different one. There's there's like other capture cards out there. So people are like, well, why don't you try another capture card? So I ordered another one that's supposed to be a lot better, but um, I ordered it from Japan. And when I ordered it, it was on back order. And that was like over a month ago. And then finally, um, they sent me a message and they're like, all right, we're finally shipping it out. And this is like a week ago. And then, and that's shipping from Japan, so I don't know. Maybe it's probably shipping by fucking sea or something. So now I'm probably gonna have to wait another. You know, there's a guy. There's a guy in like a in a bathtub rowing across the ocean with my capture guard. So what, what can I do? You know, because I'm not gonna order another Elgato because I already have two and they're not working. So fuck that. You know, I would order another Elgato if they came out with a new one because maybe a new one would be better, but I'm not ordering the same thing, basically. So that's the deal with the capture card, is I'm waiting on the one that's coming across the ocean. In fact, we might see it coming um, in the game. If you look in the background, 
you can see, uh, oh, there, that bird might have it, actually. I think that's where my capture card is. I think that bird has it. That's a, that's about my faith right now in, uh, in where this capture card is. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the deal with that. The slowest kayak ever made. <laughs> And like they didn't even bother to give me any options. Like I would have paid for it to be like delivered faster, but it's just like I don't know. I just can't win with the fuck this capture card shit. They probably just assume you want the cheapest delivery possible, but I don't. I want the fastest delivery possible. don't hate on Elgato. I mean, I'm not hating on it. It's just that it doesn't work. So, I mean, it's it's been relatively okay. I mean, I mean it's working right now. I mean, I'm using it right now. It's working fine. So, I mean, it's it's okay. But it could be better. It could it could not have the issues that I've been having. That Castlevania game, you should play it again, and I'm talking about the old one. Arcader Kid says, that ca that Castlevania game, you should play it again, and I'm talking about the old one. You mean the first Castlevania game, like Castlevania on NES? <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny way to say that, but if you mean I should play Castlevania on NES again, yes, I agree with you, I should. It's one of my favorite games, I love it. Is this complete in box, says Derek. Um... I don't think I have complete in the box for Knights of the Round. I think this is a loose card. Um, yeah, I don't think I have the box for this. I have quite a few Super Nintendo boxes over there, but I don't think I have this one. Although I'd have to look, I might have it. I would have to go look over there but I think that I don't. Knights of the Round what? <laughs> Table? Boom! I wanna level up again. Not easy, not an easy beat em up. I, I do wish you, you had a little bit more variety with, with the moves. Um, it, it seems like, because I was playing um, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Tower of Doom, and not even talking about the sequel, but uh, even the Tower of the Doom game, that had like a lot more moves. So I, I'm, maybe I'm a little spoiled. It had the moves, it the moves. Isn't this one also on Capcom Collection on PS2? Um, it, I think that is true. I think it is. is. Is that not true? Shit, I meant to chop that up. I meant to chop the salad. I, I know what the not. I did that on purpose. I know what you guys are gonna. <laughs> meant to toss the salad. <laughs> That's the weirdest name to me, Buster S. Oh. Shouldn't he be called like Death Knight or something? Buster S? Babs and Buster Bunny? And Buster Bunny is inside of that. And what's this dude's name? Fat Man. Well, that's accurate. You don't fuck with Buster S. Buster Sword. There's Buster F too. Buster Ass. <laughs> Buster Ass. 
Hey Mike, would you consider playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors again for Halloween? Um, I mean we could. Maybe I, I might do like a live stream of it. We have some ideas already for what we're gonna be doing for Halloween, so. All power for Kefka. So this game looks hard. It's not, um, I, this is set either, I think this is set on normal. Um, fuck. But it's, um, it's surprisingly not easy. I actually thought that this game was like, I was like, oh, I'll play something relatively easy. It's a little harder than I remember it being. There we go, level up, all right. Hell yeah. Oh, again, I meant to chop that. Oh, shit. See? Now was this um how many players was this in the arcade? This was this was two, huh? Was it any more than two? Like could you was there a four player version of this? I'm curious. Cause you know there's like X-Men four player. I'm guessing that this was just two. I would assume. But that would be cool if this was Oh no, what am I talking about? Because there's only three. I don't mean to say um four player. Was there a three player version with Arthur, Percival, and Lancelot? That's what I meant to say. Birdman. The Hammer Brothers. <laughs> oh, I remember these dudes. Oh no! Did I suck that badly? <laughs> I guess so, huh? That was not that good. What was it on? It was on normal. Oh boy. Alright, well, <laughs> I'll have to play this again sometime. Um, this is a fun game though. There's a trick on stage 7. What is the trick? Play King of the Dragons, says Rodrigo. Well, I have a, I have right here, I have King of the Dragons. I don't know if you can see on here. Well, with this new camera, actually, that is a lot better, isn't it? Actually, can I make this full screen? Let's see if I can do this. Gotta get the money. So we have King of the Dragons. And we have Magic Sword. I was looking to, uh, Play, you know, I just picked uh, the, this one, Knights of the Round, but might do a stream of these other ones at some point. But, oh wow, 4K brilliance, somebody says. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't have enough time to go through it again or else I would, so I'll, maybe I'll live stream this game again at some point, because uh, I would like to go through and actually beat this, but uh, I don't have quite enough time because I think this game probably take like an hour to beat and I don't have quite an hour so I probably am just gonna stop there but uh but thanks for watching guys Gauntlet on legacy yeah I like that okay Bruno says it was three player arcade okay so that's what I was wondering All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Thanks for watching the stream, and I will be back at some point. Uh, and I will, I don't, I'm probably going to go back. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to play next. Let me know what you guys think I should play next as far as, like, arcade live streams and whatever. You can always send me a message or leave a comment. Leave a comment below. All right, guys, thanks for watching.